We all love playing God just a little bit. Be it via a session on The Sims or genetically breeding animals together to create some kind of horrifying hybrid. Because, yeah, that is happening. These are the most bizarre animals created by humans. Number 15. Human-Pig Hybrid the thought of a human and animal hybrid is a nightmare for most. Well, looks like that nightmare may be more of a reality than you might have first thought. Scientists have successfully created the first human-animal hybrid in a project which introduced human cells into a non-human organism, in this case, a pig, and survive and grow within. You're probably thinking, a human-pig hybrid? Why would anyone in their right mind want to do such a thing? It's not just a twisted modern-day Frankenstein experiment, but it actually does have some seriously notable benefits. If this can be done on a large scale, then we might finally have an answer to the critical shortage of donor organs. If you're not aware of the crisis, then listen to these crazy facts. Every 10 minutes, a person is added to the national waiting list desperately longing for a life-saving organ, whilst every day, 22 people on that list sadly die from no organ being provided. It's thought that this bizarre project might be able to lower that number. Although, using pigs as host animals for our organs sounds pretty morally sketchy and very strange, to say the least. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. Just look at this thing. It is a truly stunning and gorgeous creature. The question is, is it real? Our sources tell us that the animal in this photo was man-made as part of an experiment, though to what end isn't clear. The photo was submitted to us by an eco-warrior called Spencer Morgan, who claims he snapped it through bars of the fence surrounding a lab where animals are experimented on. Some people have accused him of faking it, but what do you think? Either way, this creature is gorgeous, fake or not. Comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Spider Goat You've heard of Spider-Man and Spider-Pig, but have you heard of Spider-Goat? Well, you should get to know it. Whilst the images of a goat swinging from webs shot from its hooves down the streets of New York might come to mind, the reality is, sadly, less dramatic and awesome. Some crazy researchers at the University of Wyoming looked at a goat one day and thought, what if you could spin webs? Next thing you know, they've managed to place spider silk spinning jeans into goats. Having the milk contain the silk is really handy. Think about how much easier it is to collect the silk protein from the goat's milk rather than a spider. Squeeze down, you can squeeze your fingers and just... Wow. Milking a goat might come with its difficulties, such as kicking and the danger of headbutting you unconscious, but imagine trying to milk a spider. No thank you. Surprisingly, no superhero franchise is attached to these goats, however, as they look absolutely normal. No superhero costume and no irregular milk are in view. Despite the goats having spider genes, they look like just your regular goat. It would be cool if they hang out on webs, though. I'm sure in an alternate universe, that's the case. Number 13. Featherless Chicken Whenever I see an animal that usually has hair not have hair, I always feel a bit uneasy. I mean, just have a look at hairless cats and tell me you don't feel a little weirded out. Well, in a new case of weirdly hairless animals comes the featherless chicken, which also looks more than strange. They look like they've just been woken up and hadn't had time to throw on their clothes for the day. But why on earth would someone want a hairless chicken? Well, for starters, they are already in existence. Chickens without feathers naturally occur, and an Israeli geneticist by the name of Angor Kahaner decided to breed these naturally bare chickens with a regular broiler chicken. 
But why? Well, Kahaner claims that this new breed, which gives the favorable broiler chicken no hair, would result in a breed which contains fewer calories, is faster growing, is environmentally friendly, and is more likely to survive in warmer conditions. Kahaner also points to the existence of hairless chickens, saying he isn't just making something new and playing God. Imagine the shock the first mother to give birth to a new breed of hairless boiler chicken had when the feathers of its chick didn't grow. They must have thought, how peculiar. Anyway, no feathers also means no plucking of feathers. This is great in streamlining the production process, but also possibly means chicken pluckers worldwide face losing their job. Kahaner might have a few angry letters in the post containing plenty of foul language. Number 12. Transgenic Dog Bro, you are glowing. Thanks, man. No, you're literally glowing in the dark. When a team led by Byung Chun Lee of Seoul National University in South Korea set out to create a batch of dogs that would shock the world, not everyone was sold on the final results. See, Lee had worked with stem cell researcher Wu Suk Wang to produce the world's first cloned dog, Snuppy. But much of Wang's work, apart from Snuppy, had been discovered to be fake. So when Lee and his team revealed the world's first transgenic dog, Rubby, people were skeptical. A dog which glows in the dark, or at least sort of. Under ultraviolet light, Rubby and four other beagles remarkably glow red. This was made possible by the smart scientists cloning fibroblast cells produced by sea anemones and placing them within the dogs. You must be slightly barking mad to come up with that idea. But nevertheless, the project was a success, and the transgenic dogs were created. At least it won't be hard to find Rubby and Co. at night. All you need now is an ultraviolet torch and follow the glow. Number 11. Belgian Blue Cow what would a bodybuilder cow look like? Whilst we'll never really know, unless someone gets one on a bench press, the closest thing to an Arnold Schwarzenegger animal is the Belgian blue breed of cattle. These monstrous beasts might look like they've been down in protein shakes and steroids whilst inside the slammer, but they are, in fact, all natural. That's right, the secret behind the size of these titans is just selective breeding. But how can an animal be so big, and how do I copy it? Well, a single genetic defect, a faulty myostatin gene, has been carefully passed down the bloodline of these muscle-packed cattle. Over years and years of artificial insemination and choosing the most muscular one's best sperm cells, the Belgian blue we know and marvel at today was carved. This impressive size and lean physique make for the perfect breed of cattle for beef production. As if its enormous size couldn't get any more overwhelming, breeders regularly shave the hair off of their prized animals in order to highlight just how huge and lean these truck-sized animals are, truly milking it for all it's worth. Show-offs. Number 10. Aqua Advantage Salmon you ever find yourself tired of waiting? You probably just want the goods now rather than later. Well, that's what the creators of Aqua Advantage Salmon thought too when they had to wait three whole years for their salmon to grow to market size. Why do they take so long to grow? Is it purely just to antagonize farmers? It's simple. The Atlantic salmon only grows in the spring and summer months. After having enough of waiting around, someone finally did something about it in 1989. That somebody was Aqua Bounty Technologies, who replaced the typical growth hormone regulating gene found in the Atlantic salmon with the growth hormone regulating gene from Pacific Chinook salmon with a promoter sequence from an ocean pow. All of this fancy language translates to these new salmon being able to grow all year round. This meant they only took 16 to 18 months to grow to market size rather than three years. Sounds like an absolute miracle for frustrated farmers. They maintained the same shape and size as regular Atlantic salmon, so no three-eyed fish this time. Maybe next time. Number 9 see-through frog. 
You always hear about science classes where pupils are made to dissect a frog and stare at its bloody inner workings to expand their biology knowledge firsthand. Well, thanks to a new scientific breakthrough, slicing up one of these slippery fellas is not needed to have a look at its insides. In steps the see-through frog, which continues to amaze and gross people out since its creation in a lab at the University of Hiroshima in Japan. But how do they achieve this weird but impressive feat? Quite simply, they merged two recessive color mutant frogs through artificial insemination and boom. You get a frog whose organ growth can be monitored by a class of spotty scientists without any incisions being needed. But how are the frogs see-through? So you know that the pigment in the skin of animals and humans gives us color. Well, the see-through frog has very few of these cells, called chromatophores, which contains pigment in an amphibian. The result, a translucent frog which is see-through for its whole life from egg to adult. Incredible. Creepy, but incredible. I'm sure they're the stuff of mythology in the frog community. Clean up your lily pad or the see-through frog will get ya. Number 8. Zorse. The animal world is a weird and wonderful place. Just when you think you're finally starting to get your head wrapped around it, you come across something like a zorse. Yeah, you heard that right, a zorse. When you take a zebra stallion and a horse mare and let mother nature do its thing, you get a zorse. A zorse looks mainly like a regular horse, but with the stripes of a zebra. It's quite a startling sight. At first, I thought the image must have been photoshopped, but no, it's real. Aside from a startling first impression and potentially better camouflage, the zebra part of Azorce gives the animal resistance against certain pests and diseases that would otherwise affect both horses and donkeys. Pretty neat. This means not only is the Zorse sturdy, but they're also very hardy animals. Sounds pretty great. Zorses are also known as a zebra mule, or my personal favorite, Zebrule. You might be thinking about why you haven't seen more of these Zorses if they're so handy. Well, the Zorse, like most hybrids, is, sadly, sterile. This tragically means no large families of Zorses will be making their way to your countryside fields anytime soon. Still, a pretty cool glitch in the algorithm of nature, if you ask me. Number 7. Zonkey. What happens when you cross a zebra and a donkey? A zonkey, of course. If we're gonna get into specifics, a zonkey is made from a male zebra and a female donkey. What happens if you have it the other way around, I hear you ask? Well, you get a zedonk. A zedonk. I mean, they could have come up with something a little bit more creative than just mashing the two animals' names together, but hey ho. Like other hybrids, the zonkey is infertile, but weirdly, they are known to roam in the wild in Africa. The zonkey looks as striking as it sounds, with the zonkey looking like a donkey that's going through a phase. Its stripes come across very punk. There are so many strange hybrids in nature that I'm starting to wonder what else is out there. A cog? AKA a cat crossed with a dog? Who knows? If you can think it up, it has probably been done. Number 6. Cows making human milk. This next one is gross. So, you know how mothers produce milk for their human children? And you know how cows also produce milk? Well, someone thought as far out of the box as you possibly can and decided to make cows produce human milk. Yeah, this is real. Who do we thank? The China Agriculture University. After taking human genes and placing them successfully within over 300 cows, they've actually managed to have human milk come out of the udders of the cows. This milk allegedly contains high amounts of the essential nutrients to help boost the immune system of babies and assist in growing them into strong humans. This is seen as a great alternative to a pint of baby formula, which is often criticized for its nutritional benefits and is widely seen as an inferior substitute to human milk. The cows are fine, if you're wondering, with the transgenic animals being physically identical to ordinary cows, according to the scientists. What a strange idea, but if it works, doesn't harm anyone, and people want it, then why not? Number 5. Glowfish 
Talk about standing out from the crowd. These fish literally glow. The glowfish is a genetically engineered type of fish which are fluorescent and come in a range of colors. Whilst you may associate glowing colored fish with ghastly creatures from deep under the ocean, these peculiar fish are actually available to buy for the public. Buying one of these will surely shock and amaze any guests you have around your house. But why would someone want to make a fluorescent fish? Simply to make money? The truth is, the creation of the glowfish was to detect toxins in the water. If they were in the water which contained toxins, they would fluoresce and inform the watching humans. The first scientists to genetically modify fish to change color like this were in Singapore, with the goal to help out local communities being able to tell when their waterways are clean or not, saving the locals from picking up various of nasty illnesses. Nowadays, the bizarre fish are sold mainly as pets, with the rights to these glowfish being owned by Spectrum Brands Incorporated. What is it with humans and messing with nature? Imagine if an alien were to kidnap us and make us glow different colors. Sounds like a wild ride. Number 4. Envirapig Climate change is being tackled one environmentally friendly pig poo at a time. You heard that right. Move aside Greta Thunberg and David Attenborough, we have a new savior on the block. Whilst that might be a bit of an overstatement, these curly-tailed friends have been genetically modified to absorb phosphate which would otherwise be excreted. These pigs would otherwise be unable to digest phytate, a phosphorus-heavy molecule found in the grains which they eat. This phosphorus coming out of the pig's behind isn't good for the environment at all, as it can end up in the ocean where it feeds bacteria and algae and creates oxygen dead zones, which are a real nuisance and killer of marine wildlife. But how do scientists make these piggies absorb the potentially harmful phosphorus in their diet? Well, easy. They introduce an E. coli gene and mouse DNA to make the pig better at making use of this phosphorus. Which is also good for the pig as it helps them to make DNA, build cell membranes, and transport energy. Everyone wins. The pigs make better use of their food and the marine life is better preserved. Number 3. Savannah Cats the largest domestic cats in the world are actually the result of breeding a Siamese cat with the wild Serval cat of Africa. The result of this mix is the Savannah cat, which is seen as so wild that they're actually banned in several states. The states of New York, Massachusetts, Hawaii, and Georgia all make it illegal to own these long-legged creatures as they aren't seen as a domestic breed. The state officials are concerned that the wild side of these feline friends could take over and change the ecosystem if too many of them escaped into the wild. Strangely, the savannah cat hisses like a snake, a hark back to the primitive wild days of the breed, with other characteristics such as large, perked ears, long legs, and spotted coat also seen. I wouldn't recommend buying a savannah cat if you don't have a large space for this primal cat to roam. I am not kidding. The savannah cat can grow up to 17 inches tall and up to 25 pounds in weight. Imagine getting a scratch from one of them. Number 2. Liger Lions and tigers are terrifying beasts of the animal kingdom, so imagine if you mixed them. Well, no need to imagine, because that is actually a reality in the form of a liger. They are anything but a pushover, however, as the liger tips the scale at over a ton of vicious muscle and fur. They are literally the size of a horse. When a male lion and female tiger procreate, the two rival animals combine to create this deadly super cat. Luckily for the rest of the animals in the world, there are only around a hundred ligers in the world. And he's not even full grown yet. He's literally gonna grow for two to three more years of his life. The ligers aren't held in high regard by humans in places of authority, however, as they are illegal in some countries due to them being viewed as a waste of genetic resources. They aren't even protected by the law, with ligers falling in no man's land off the endangered species list. There's even a loophole in the law that makes the trade of hybrid body parts not illegal under the current law. 
crazy. These ligers can grow up to 12 feet in length and are a truly bizarre creature, although I wouldn't say that to its face. Number 1. Dolly the Sheep The good, the bad, and the cloned? In July 1996, a sheep was born which would rock the modern scientific world. Okay, so imagine three sheep. Sheep A, Sheep B, and Sheep C. When the body cell of Sheep A was placed into the egg cell of Sheep B, which had its nucleus removed, the two combined and was placed in the uterus of surrogate Sheep C. The result? A clone of Sheep A, aka Dolly the Sheep. This proved to the world that you can take somatic cells and use them to become embryonic cells. This championed advances in stem cell research, which continues to capture the imagination of visionary scientists to this day. Stem cell research meant that cloning technology meant you could take healthy tissues and transplant them to heal damaged cells and organs. Not only this, but all of these fascinating advancements led to the thought that if we can clone a sheep, then why can't we clone a human. That hasn't happened yet, but since the creation of Dolly, 20 species of animals were cloned, which included horses and household pets. I suppose time will tell where Dolly's breakthrough will take us. What a strange list. Which animal baffled you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!